Kathy Wood and her ARK Invest firm have been surrounded by quite the buzz ever since they catapulted themselves out of the pandemic economy, going all in on innovative tech companies. It's an unconventional strategy by most traditional investing standards to not lean on the tried and true blue chip value stocks that Warren Buffett and others swear by. Things were going quite well as the economy exited the pandemic, but now ARK's investments are beginning to falter in this new normal. As with any large company or fund that has been struggling to keep up with its valuations, the short sellers have come out of the woodwork to take a bite out of the pie. Thanks for tuning back into Profit Protection, folks. Today, we're going to be taking a detailed look at Kathy Wood and her ARK funds that have attracted both fervent followers and skeptical short sellers. We'll examine ARK's success and struggles, as well as the differing opinions on Kathy's investing strategy. So let's get started on how short sellers ended up raking in billions from ARK slip-ups. There is a reason Kathy Wood is in charge of 60 plus billion dollars of investor money. She has an uncanny ability to recognize disruptive companies and technologies, as well as the foresight to invest smart and invest hard. When she has a plan, market downturns don't really scare her. As with any account manager, emotions take a backseat. This is where her trading strategy should shine in theory. Kathy Wood and ARK Invest are not abandoning their tech and growth stocks that make up such large pieces of their pie. This time, Kathy thinks the tech bubble is different. According to the ARK Invest report and her comments from interviews, these new tech stocks are companies with robust operations and proven profit. She compares this to opposite the dot-com crash, which consisted of many tech companies that just couldn't quite back up their business plans and optimistic promises. In other words, the hype that built the bubble before was due to companies being too conceptual and overpromising their innovation. Now, because so many advanced technologies are overlapping to foster real growth, any dip presents itself as an opportunity. One has to wonder how much longer this could go on for, and how much higher these innovative stocks really could go. Just as expected, people are now backing down from the exciting technologies and innovations that once attracted them. Suddenly, they feel as though the tried and true value stocks would give them the protection needed from a market downturn. Ark Invest much like these investors, was also capitalizing on the innovation and disruption seen across many such industries and companies. The difference between retail, other institutional investors, and ARK is that Kathy and her team are sticking to their strategy. When the world runs back to value stocks, Kathy Wood predicts that our growth rates are really going to look far superior to anything you would find in the value space, and we are really looking forward to that. Equity benchmarks are trading at nearly record high valuations and record high prices. Prices. These are the safe investments that many are retreating to. This is part of why ARK Invest is so confident in its investment strategy. These companies are largely similar in terms of services and operations compared to a decade or two ago. Kathy Wood's ARK ETFs had a stellar 2020 in the heat of the pandemic, but 2021 was not quite so profitable. 2020 saw its largest ETF racking up massive change, growing 150%. 2021 was not quite so hot as investors began to fear a downturn. Now, the short sellers are beginning to emerge from the shadows like sharks that taste blood. Suddenly, Kathy Wood's ARK ETFs are looking like tasty targets for these traders. In fact, they are already seeing profits from shorting ARK and its funds. While Kathy may be highly regarded in the financial community, not everyone is following her blindly. The firm has eight exchange-traded funds, which are the ETFs we have been referring to. Short sellers in 2022 have so far profited more than $2.4 billion off of these ETFs losses. The tech stocks upon which ARK has relied so heavily on have continued to slide over this last portion of the year, so much so that these short sellers together have made a hefty $492 million since August alone. ARK Innovation, ticker ARKK, is the largest fund that the firm lists publicly. There are about $8 million within the ETF, and in 2020, this particular fund made returns of roughly 150%, which drew plenty of attention to it. Now, as it continues to lose ground, public opinion is turning on its head, and unsurprisingly, this is the most shorted of all the ETFs. This begs the question, who's going to come out on top? 
Kathy or her naysayers. The two sides are quite the opposite of each other, and on one hand, Kathy and her ARC advisors are sticking to their guns. Researching a good strategy and then refusing to flinch at a downturn is a key characteristic of successful investors. Her short sellers, on the other hand, are slightly more reactionary. This summer was slightly better for ARK investments as speculation caused many tech stocks to rise again for a few months. This caused many short sellers to cover their bets early, fearing that they might have been wrong. Of course, they have all flocked back once again as ARK ETFs began taking major losses once again. Kathy and her team are convinced that the rapid growth of tech stocks is sustainable and destined to go much, much further. To her, the insane valuations of some of these companies is not indicative of a bubble. Instead, she believes this is true growth and will continue to explode as these advanced technologies begin to synthesize. When the market begins to fall harder, the emerging hierarchy of technological and innovative services could establish themselves as the new value stocks. Because traditional value stocks will struggle to evolve, this leaves investors with a golden opportunity to get in early on the next big thing, for a lack of better words. Her doubters will say quite the opposite though. Short sellers of ARK ETFs are sure that these new progressive companies will not be able to support their own valuations, which surely I guess is a valid opinion as we've seen this happen before. As we previously mentioned, the dot-com crash is one example of this, where a mad rush into growth and tech stocks created an unbalanced relationship between them and value stocks. The result was a bubble that popped and sent the market into a never-seen-before recession. This is similar in ways to what we're seeing today, as innovative tech companies became the favorites of investors across the country. This shift, accelerated by the pandemic disrupting so many economic factors, has created a similarly precarious situation for our market today. If this change of tune in the market from growth stocks to value stocks turns into a mass exodus, the momentum could do much more than hurt tech companies. It could bring the whole market down with it. Not every share sold is another share bought, and if the sell-offs pick up speed, fewer investors will feel comfortable putting their money back in. To make matters worse, the federal government has created a bubble by pumping stimulus value into the economy. Now that the dust is settling, it is revealing the financial system to be in an unsustainable position. It seems as the only way down is more of a steep fall. This unwinding of the stimulus may be rapid and chaotic for companies and individuals alike. If things continue to go south, Kathy Wood and her ARK ETFs will feel the pain first. Investors will let go of their more speculative growth stocks in favor of tried and true value stocks. These innovative companies will be abandoned by many investors and the ARK short sellers will emerge with massive profits. Kathy seems to be betting against all the odds. With so many red flags ahead of us in terms of financial stability and a bearish sentiment throughout analysts and the economy. If her ARK ETFs emerge from the other side successfully, she'll stand to make incredible profits. If the market abandons these tech companies in favor of safer bets, she'll be left to pick up the pieces. So what are your your thoughts would you stand behind kathy and put your money where your mouth is or would you place a silent bet against her let us know in the comments below if you would like to hear more about kathy arc and her thoughts on other recent economic developments i highly recommend our recent video kathy wood china's collapse is far worse than you think but thanks for tuning back in guys we really appreciate your views you can support us and the creation of new content by liking this video and subscribing to our channel thanks so much and i will be catching you in the next video video. Peace.